Boy, life has been kicking my butt. Mainly running has been kicking my butt. I appreciate you, Rocky. Pushing through limits, man. Pushing through limits. But today's video is not about that. It's about solving a problem I've been having and getting something done much faster than I can typically do it any other way. So today, I'm going to be building an app. An app in Salesforce, the things I've been doing, you know, professionally as a software engineer. So I don't just build things for no reason. I have a reason and purpose behind things why I build things. So, I mean, this is just going to be an additional thing that probably adds to my portfolio. So, like I said before, I'm tired of using the traditional things like spreadsheets to analyze deals. And these deals are real estate deals. And what I'm trying to do is to analyze these deals way faster than I can typically do with a spreadsheet. So that's what we're going to be building today. So the main thing I want to get out of this app is calculating the cash flow of the property. And the cash flow of the property consists of the net operating income minus the debt service minus the capital expenses. In order to calculate the gross potential rent, we have the number of units times the market rent times 12. In order to get the operating expenses, operating expenses can include property taxes, insurance, property management, turnover. Okay. Okay. We doing this today. We are doing this today. Okay. Now that we understand that, let's put that into a data model on Salesforce. Let's get it. Okay, all right. So this is where we at right now. As you can see, set up the data model. Actually, I'm not fully done yet, to be honest. I'm not fully set up for the data model. Uh, there's a couple of things I plan on doing next, but let me show you what I have so far. So here's the whole idea, right? Boom, I have my little app thing. It's called deal analysis. Boom, and I have like an investment. It could be anything really. I think this can apply to all these other deal things that I can do analysis on for, for example, like commercial real estate. But I might categorize investments into different categories. For instance, right now it's just, you know, regular investments and call it whatever. One, two, three, five, G whiz. And, you know, leave this stuff blank. I'm going to have this as probably read only because I don't want to change these directly. And you're going to see why later on, because essentially what this is going to be doing is doing all the calculations for me and i'm gonna go to the next page here so to explain that even further so as you can see you have on this page you have the investment um this investment name the net operating income the cash flow and then you also have this stuff on the side right here so this is going to be used when i create these different records that's associated with this investment so gross operating income for example click new there's different categories here right so you have your gross potential rent you have your other income and you also have your rent loss so this is like stuff such as concessions or something a one-time fee for concessions for giving a renter something per year or something like that i don't know uh, i haven't figured it out yet but yeah it's going to be essentially what is loss at uh either yearly or just a one-time thing we'll see how that's going to be calculated in there but yeah as you see like i mean there's nothing set up for the fields per se i'm going to be sending up some fields for each of those different types of gross incomes so going back to the other one so we have operating expenses so i'll put some preliminary different categories here once again i'm going to be just putting different amounts i, I think there's other than the property management like hitting at certain percentages of the gross of the rent income so that's what's probably going to be something that I'm going to take in consideration for just that category. Maybe legal might have a percentage off of the income as well. We'll see. Maybe it's just a flat fee. Taxes might change over years, so we'll see how that's going to play out. But for the most part, that's it, you know. Um, 
This is going to be the categories for the expenses. All right, we got our debt service. What I plan on doing here is just essentially just a mortgage payment. So debt service is just a fancy way of saying mortgage payment. Well, I'm going to just, it's just going to be an amount here. And I'm just going to subtract that from the net operating income minus the debt service minus the capital expenditures, which are we're going to go into the next thing. And this could be like multiple capital expenditures here. So what I'm going to do is get a rough estimate of each one based off of the year and stuff like that. So there's like HVAC, there's roofing, there's stuff like that that should be in here. So at first I was going to like categorize those differently. But what I'm going to do is probably just put it on one particular record page and not give them different record types. That's what I'm thinking about doing with that. All right. So... I'm going to continue this hackathon for this vlog and I'm going to see you next time. Yeah. Today is the day when it's going to get finished. All right, so we're done with the data model. So I'm going to do a little quick check real quick. So I actually ran into an issue. So what it looks like, all the flow stuff that I did in regards to the trigger stuff is not working. <laughs>